So a little bit of an update, the Transformers Generations 2020 guidebook that just came out. Um, it seems that now we got some full scan photos of all the pages. A majority of the stuff has been translated. And man, oh man, is there some good stuff in this. Now, for people who aren't familiar with these Transformer Generation books, they're published by Million Publishing and Hero X. Originally, when they first came out, they were just straight up guidebooks. And everyone remembers the infamous Transformers Generation 1 guidebook that everyone was trying to hunt down in the mid-2000s. And... Now they kind of do a year review kind of thing, and it's a little thinner, but what they do now is they do a review of all the toys that came out that year in Japan mostly. Uh, they pump it with a whole bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff of that year, and then they do a whole bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff from the past and a little bit of a look into the future. Now we talked about the City Mode Unicron that was shown inside the magazine, but what I want to update to talk about is two things. Number one, in the book... What they had also, which I totally forgot what was in it initially, and I was so excited about this, was uh, Satoshi Ushihara, um, who, he was someone that, if you were a big fan of anime in the 90s and that old VHS era of renting, he was a big key player in a lot of good stuff. Plastic Little, Akira, um, Dragon Century, uh, oh my god, I'm trying to remember a few others, I can't, um, Saint Seiya, uh, Macross 2, um, there's geez like he's there's so much good stuff I, like I, on top of all of that he worked on generation one transformers along with obari back in the day and they were both key animators and he was brought on for this version of the generations book essentially to pretty much draw a whole bunch of generation one stuff just what is modern art style and this is a guy that i mean he's done so much cool stuff i mean even from like the sunbow side of things he worked on gem he worked on gi joe so like a lot of that really nice art style that you see from gem and gi joe even it's thanks to guys like him and so he drew this amazing hot rod and daniel recreation scene from the 86 movie he did a really good scene of opt of hot rod opening the matrix uh, he did one with um, with Cup and RC. Like, I could just go on and on. There's a lot of really good ones. If you want to see uh, a whole bunch of these, like, they were kind of photo scanned by not a Twitter on Twitter. You could kind of look it up. Ryan S., he's one of the TFCon staff members, so you could check that out. Uh, some really good stuff. I'm going to post just the, the Rodimus one here, the Hot Rod one here, excuse me. But what I want to talk about the update especially is we now know for certain what the story is with those little mini figs. So it seems that the original mini Hot Rod and Galvatron that was shown to us the first time around uh, when we were pretty much paying, you know, and, and getting hyped for the Unicron, those were rough prototype stand-ins. Pretty much like, and we all, we all knew this back then, they pretty much took the Titan Returns Galvatron and Titan Returns Hot Rod and they just kind of shrunk them down, made these little like unarticulated monocolored prototypes. They colored in the Galvatron very roughly. And they said, okay, you're going to also be getting these things. We now have better images of what they're going to actually look like. And they're going to look a lot more like their original Generation 1 models rather than the Titans Return designs. And I'm a lot more happier with that because if we're going to be doing a Unicron thing that's based off of the 86 movie, I want to do something that matches you know, the 86 movies aesthetic. So we have Hot Rod, we have Galvatron, they're done in their Sunbow, you know, Fleuro Deary Generation 1 style, and I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm, I'm not too crazy about them having bases, but I mean, if they have to have something in order to stand up, then that's fine. But otherwise, I mean, I hope these are full color and beautiful for their tiny little size. But otherwise, I'm really hyped about this. This is really cool. And that's just a little update I just wanted to fill in with you guys because I, we were kind of iffy on the information this morning, and now we have new updated information. And as I learn more stuff as it comes, I'll let you guys know about it. You could always trust Slag to give you the latest and the greatest and the most educated, knowledgeable opinion when it comes to the Transformer hobby.